हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट डी जेनरसी इन एल पी पी वेन विल द डी जेनरसी अकर इन एल पी पी आई विल एक्सप्लेन नाउ टू सॉल्व दिस डी जेनरसी प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट आई वी विल टेक वन एल पी पी सॉल्व द एल पी पी मैक्स डेट इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू सब्जेक्ट टू द कंस्टेंट्स फर्स्ट कंस्टेंट दस देना रिकॉर्ड सिंबल सेकेंड कंस्टेंट एंड थर्ड कंस्टेंट्स नाउ फर्स्ट वी विल कन्वर्ट द गिवेन एल पी पी इन टू द वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस एल पी पी इन सिंप्लेक्स मेथड वी आर सॉलविंग दिस एल पी पी इन सिंप्लेक्स मेथड वाइल सॉलविंग द डी जेनरसी अकर्स हाउ इट विल बी हाउ इट विल बी हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई वेदर डी जेनरसी अकर्स आर नॉट आई विल टेल यू नाउ वी विल कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म बिकॉज वी आर सॉलविंग दिस प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग सिंप्लेक्स मेथड स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म एज यूजल स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म वी कन्वर्टेड मैक्स डेट इज ईक्वल टू इज देर देर फॉर वी केप्ट एज इट इजली एंड फर्स्ट कंसेंट हैविंग लेस देन आर इक्वल टू सिंबल देर फॉर प्लस एस वन इज इक्वल टू टूवेल्व सेकंड ऑल्सो हैविंग लेस देन आर इक्वल टू सिंबल देर फॉर प्लस एस टू इज इक्वल टू एट थर्ड वन ऑल्सो हैविंग लेस देन आर इक्वल टू सिंबल प्लस एस थ्री थ्री इज इक्वल टू एट आई एडेड थ्री स्लैक वेरिएबल्स एस वन एस टू एस थ्री ऑन द लेफ्ट हाइड्स लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द कंस्टेंट एक्स वन एक्स टू एस वन एस टू एस थ्री ऑल द कंस्टेंट्स आर एंड स्लैक वेरिएबल्स आर ग्रेटर दैन आर इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ लाइक दिस आई कन्वर्टेड दिस इन टू द आई कन्वर्टेड द गिवेन एल पी पी इन टू द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म आफ्टर कन्वर्टिंग इन टू द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म वी विल ड्रॉ द सिंप्लेक्स टेबल इन द सिंप्लेक्स टेबल Uh, in the simplex table, these many columns occur. So the first simplex table is C B column. First one basis or basic variables. Body of the simplex table x one, x two, s one, s two, s three, x B column R H S side and minimum ratio and leave some space like that. Now we will fill all the body of the simplex table using the constraints. Whatever the constraints are there, using this constraints, this body of the simplex table and C J is from the maximization of Z. maximization of z is equal to 2x1 plus x2 is there using this uh, maximize uh, objective function we wrote this one and wherever now from here i will explain here we have got identity matrix 100010001 and near s1 s2 s3 therefore s1 s2 s3 is called basis or basic variables that's why s1 s2 s3 above s1 zero is there above s2 zero is there above s3 zero is there like this you have to fill all the body of the simplex table like this after that draw one more line like this this line the, this row is called index row how to calculate this index row elements zj minus cj zj minus cj is the formula for to calculate the index row now this is the initial table that's why we will get all minus 2 minus 1 0 0 0 how to calculate index row elements this into this plus this into this plus this into this minus this you will get like this this into this plus this into this plus this into this minus 1 now here you will get in the same way this into this plus this into this plus this into this minus this one if you do like this you will get index row now how to proceed further in simplex table uh, to do problem in simplex table how to most minimum you have to choose in the index row index row the most minimum is minus 2 most negative or most minimum now coming to the minimum ratio now that means i choose the first column x1 column we choosed now minimum ratio xb by x1 12 by 4 is equal to 3 Now eight by four is equal to two. Eight by four is equal to two. Now here minimum ratio in the minimum ratio column we have to choose the minimum out of the zeros and positives. We have to choose the most minimum value. Now here three two two most minimum is two, uh, two is minimum but it occurs two times. Uh, that means minimum ratio tie. Whenever the minimum ratio tie, then it is called degeneracy. Now we have to choose the most minimum values out of zeros and positive. If only unique uh, minimum value is there, we can choose and we can proceed further. But here what happened? Here uh, two minimum values we have got. Minimum value got tie. Whenever the minimum value got tie. then there exist a degeneracy in lpp at that time only we say that degeneracy occurs in the lpp 
whenever minimum ratio ties we will get the degeneracy occurs now to to solve such type of problems what we have to do now this is not useful now we cannot use uh, this one to choose the row we cannot use this one we have to go to the now here listen carefully this identity matrix is there s1 s2 s3 100010001 now one that means here what we did what we did 12 by this 12 by 4 8 by 4 8 by 4 we did but here we didn't get the minimum value now sir so that's why 1 by 4 see this one by x x1 x1 s1 by x1 s1 by x1 i will do now we will see whether degeneracy gone or not s1 by x1 1 by 4 0 by 4 0 by 4 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 0 by 4 is 0 0 by 4 is 0 again minimum value is out of positives and zeros minimum value is 0 0 again degeneracy occurs whenever now here uh, this one no need to find here 1 by 4 no need to find because uh, wherever degeneracy occurs for that only we need to find this 3 for this one no need to calculate s1 by x1 for this uh, first row no need to calculate because here degeneracy occurs between second row and third row only that's why here no need to find now here s1 now identity matrix wherever identity matrix the first column is identity matrix 1 0 0 uh, the first row is not, not uh, necessary now degeneracy occurs in second and third row 0 by 4 0 by 4 that means s1 by x1 i did now 0 by 4 is 0 0 by 4 is 0 again tie we have got a tie wherever minimum ratio tie if you get then again degeneracy occurs now next what we have to do next column next column in identity matrix next column s2 by x1 s2 by x1 now here this is not uh, uh, we cannot use this one because this is unique now wherever tie wherever tie you have got that only we uh, for that only we need to calculate wherever unique value you have got uh, this one just leave it and um, s2 by x1 s2 by x1 1 by 4 0 by 4 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 0 0.25 0 by 4 is 0 the minimum is the minimum is 0 by 4 is 0 that means the uh, row pivot row is uh, third row now coincide element coincide element is 4 like this whenever degeneracy occurs go to the identity matrix wherever 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 you have got wherever identity matrix you have got for that identity matrix first column you have to see and check whether you have got a, a unique minimum ratio value if you get minimum unique minimum ratio you can proceed further again if you get type go to the second column of the identity matrix like this and you proceed further now here this one we have got uh, 4 here here 4 means what we have to do what is the procedure of simplex method simplex method we have to convert this pivot element into 1 the above 2 elements into zeros by doing some elementary row transformations now now this row i will write uh, s3 is leaving variable whereas x1 is entering variable x1 is entering above x1 2 is there now s2 s1 as it is i will write now 4 by 4 is 1 i am divide the whole row with 4 4 by 4 is 1 minus 1 by 4 0 0 1 by 4 4 by 2 is um, 4 by uh, 8 by 4 is 2 8 by 4 is 2 now the next one here this element we have to zero this element into zero now this element first we will write and multiply this element this row first you have to write this column this row 4 3 1 0 0 12 and multiply this row with 4 and then subtract if you do if you do like that you will get um, you will get a 0 4 1 0 minus 1 and 4 now multiply this row with 4 and subtract with this row then you will get like this in the same way second one also For first you write this one and multiply this one with 4 and subtract first we have to write old row then a new row you will get 
again you two zero two zero one minus one and zero and minimum ratio this time we will calculate before that index row index row is z j minus c j z j minus c j zero into zero 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 into zero zero two into one two minus two zero now wherever identity matrix is there you will get zero there here zero here zero 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 one one zero 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 one zero wherever identity matrix you have got the at, at that places you will get definitely zero the remaining only we need to calculate the remaining zero into zero into four is zero zero into two is zero the two into minus one by four is a minus one by two minus one by two minus one minus three by two now here zero you have got zero into minus one is zero zero into minus one is zero uh, two into one by four is uh, one by two minus zero one by two here zero zero two into two is four now the most minimum is uh, this one the most minimum is uh, this one four by four zero by two here 2 by minus 1 by 4 negative we have got just ignore 4 by 4 is 1 0 by 2 is 0 the most minimum is uh, this one here unique you have got therefore 2 is the pivot element now therefore s2 is leaving variable whereas x2 is entering x2 above x2 1 hmm? s1 0 x1 2 2 we have to uh, divide we have to uh, convert this 2 into 1 0 by 2 is 0 2 by 2 is 1 0 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 0 0 by 2 is 0 now this uh, this element into 1 the above element into 1 we have to convert by doing some elementary row transformations First, we have to write this old row, old row minus a new row. This one we have to write and multiply the new row with 4 and subtract, then you will get this row. And then here to convert this element into 0, first this row you write and then this row, new, new row, and multiply this row, new row with a, uh, 1 by 4 and then add, you will get like this. Now we will find index row index row wherever identity matrix you have got uh, there automatically zj minus cj 001 010 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. wherever identity matrix you have got uh, in that places you will get automatically zero the remaining two only you need to calculate zero into anything is zero one into one by two one into one by two is one by two plus two into one by four two ones are two fours are one by two plus one by four minus zero one by two plus 1 by 4 3 by 4 now this one minus 1 by 4 and uh, 0 0 2 0 2 are 4 again mm, this are last my mistake I wrote by mistake index row the most minimum is this one the most minimum is uh, this one and we will calculate uh, minimum ratio 4 by 1, uh, 4 by 1 is 4, 0 by minus 1 by 2 neg uh, negative, we have got just ignore, 2 by 1 by 8 is 16, 4 is 16, minimum is 4, that means this one, this one means uh, S3 is entering, by mistake I wrote one line, uh, S3 entering and uh, yeah, above S3 is 0 is there, Already pivot element having is 1 inside 0, 0, 1, minus 2, 1, 4. And these two elements into zeros, we have to convert these two elements into zeros by doing some elementary row transformations. We will get um, x2, 1, x1, 2.
ZJ minus CJ. Wherever identity matrix you have got 0, you will get automatically here 1 by 4, 1 by 4. Now here 0, 2, 2, 2, 2 cancel 3, 5. 1 into 2, 2, 2 into 3 by 2, 2, 2 cancel 3, 2 plus 3, 5. Therefore, max Z is equal to 5 at x1 is equal to 3 by 2, x1 is equal to 3 by 2 and x2 is equal to x2 is equal to 2. This is the answer. As usual simplex procedure, here this element we converted into 1 and these two elements into 0 by doing some elementary row transformations and then index, index row we calculated using zj minus cj this into this plus this into this plus this into this minus this one. Now you have got like this. Now this is about uh, degeneracy in simplex. Thank you very much.